I visited the Sistine Chapel exhibit that was held at the Trafford Centre on the outskirts of Manchester. As a novice of fine art, I was unsure of what I would see when walking throughout the exhibit. The room was filled with colour and light as Michelangelo's finest work was displayed throughout the hall. The exhibit is hailed as a life-sized, up-close, never-before-seen perspective, giving visitors a viewing and audio experience while using an audio device to get in-depth insight to the image before them. Michelangelo first gained fame through his sculptures, most famously Peter and David, when he was commissioned to paint the Sistine Chapel. Created from 1508 to 1512, the 68-foot-high ceiling houses brushstroke scenes from the Old Testament, starting with the creation of the world and ending with the story of Noah and the Flood. After asking a visitor about whether they would visit the actual Sistine Chapel since visiting the exhibit, this was their response. So I would like to see it, but I'm not sure um, how the experience would be being, being there when it's quite so high up. But the reason we want to see this today is because you get much more close-up kind of idea of, of what the paintings actually look like. When speaking to another visitor about their favourite image on display, this is what I found. I really like the... Um, it's basically when Eve gets kicked out of the garden. Okay. The serpent is depicted like this, like lady with a, instead of legs, she's got like a serpent's tail wrapped around the tree. Oh, perfect. I really, I really like that, it's cool. The display has just finished their visit to Manchester and will be opening in Birmingham tomorrow. The exhibit has been touring the globe and already has seen the likes of major cities such as Mexico City and Nashville. So you can head to Birmingham, Barcelona, Valencia and even Australia to see one of Michelangelo's most well-known triumphs. The original chapel is close to St. Peter's Basilica and the Belvedere Courtyard in the Vatican, a little further than the M62 to the Trafford Centre.